Watching me? Well, now I want you to listen to me. I want to tell you about the best mobile game around. In fact, it should probably be the only mobile game around because you'll never need another mobile game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me tell you about Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a top-notch fantasy game where you assemble a team of champions to go against the enemy in epic battles. In the game, you can choose from hundreds of champions you can upgrade and equip with weapons before sending them into battle by using currency that you earn through daily quests and challenges. One time I particularly like to play Raid is when I'm traveling. Let's be honest, airports are super boring, and while you're waiting for your flight, it's great to just pull out Raid Shadow Legends and start playing. It makes the waiting go way faster. Actually, let me tell you my top five places to play Raid Shadow Legends. Number one when I wake up in the morning. Number two, when I'm bathing. Oops. Number three, when I'm exercising in my jeans. Number four, when I'm sitting in my hot tub that doesn't actually work yet. Number five, number two. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Right now is the best time to get started with Raid, so if you click my link in the description below or scan my QR code on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking to free epic champion Aina, 200k in silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's just that easy. Click my link in the description, and I'll see you in the game. Hello. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. An interesting episode for you guys today. This one's on y'all, just so you know. So I, um, I bought this rifle. I thought we would destroy it. You'll see why. It's super dumb. It's the dumbest thing. I, I literally bought it just to make a mockery of it and destroy it. And then like, as a funny joke, thinking I would know the answer, I put it on my Instagram and said, hey guys, should we pimp this thing out or destroy it? And I thought everyone would say, destroy that stupid thing because it, it shouldn't be here on earth. It's making all of us dumber. But instead, you dudes said, pimp it out! It was like a 74% of people said, pimp it out. And so I'm going to do what the people want. Give the people what they want. We have a very stupid rifle, and I am going to pimp it out. This is it. It is made by Troy. It's called the Troy Sporting Rifle. And at first glance, you're like, that actually looks all right. Like, black rifles are cool. It's pretty neat. Until you start looking at it closer, and you're like, it looks... Something looks off. It's a little different. You might be, oh, maybe it's because it, it doesn't have a buffer tube back here, right? It's got a folding stock. That's cool. That's a plus. We can, doesn't work very good, but you can fold the stock and you're good to go. Everybody likes folding stock ARs. That's neat. And then you're like, there's no charging handle. Like, where's the charging hand? Why is there not a charging handle? And otherwise it looks like a pretty base level AR. But then you're like, why is, what's going on here? And then you're like, no, no, please, please no, that can't, no, it's a pump action AR, why would they do this? ARs are cool because they're semi-auto. This one, it's a pump, pump, pump auction, pump auto, it's a pump auto AR. And I thought it should burn really fast. So welcome to Demolition Ranch. We're going to pimp out this stupid AR. Let's go do some shopping.
almost done. 3,000. <laughs> so dumb. All right, your total today comes out to 4,336.39. Okay. Cash your card. Card. <laughs> oh, it's right there. I am never going to financially recover from this. Here's the Troy sporting rifle. <sighs> Pimped out. Now, you've all seen videos where someone takes a really nice gun, a Gucci AR, and they put a bunch of Wish.com and Amazon stuff all over it. And it's, it's funny and it's silly. Everybody's seen that though, it's been done. I took a Wish.com AR and put a bunch of Gucci stuff all over it. It's also dumb. Let's do a little breakdown of everything we put on here. Let's start up here. This is a Texas Silencer Company 308 suppressor up there and they had an adapter so it fit on a 5.56 thread. Uh, we have a Steiner 1 to 4 optic up here and then you know that's great but if you like are on 4x which is super zoomed in as you guys know and you need to get to your 1x we also have a loophole delta point pro on the side red dot over here on a 45 mount so you can easily like I'm aiming at my 200 yard target and then oh there's someone up close boom pop 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 well actually it'd be like pop 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 for faster uh, transitions. Also, but I was like, what if someone shoots and hits this, blows that off, right? Bad, and then you'd have to go to this, but maybe that gets blown off on the second bullet. And then I'm like, I got no optics. So we went ahead and put 45 degree irons on the other side, so you also can aim this way. It's like, bam, 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 bam. So we got optics on optics on optics. We went ahead and put a Surefire Scout Light up here on this mount where you can move it around, which is kind of cool. This is a Steiner D-Ball, which has a uh, laser and it has infrared. Uh, it also has an infrared illuminator, so you can use it for night vision. So like when I want to go out and do some night ops with this thing, I just got my night vision on and I can see that illuminator if I want, or I can have the laser if I want, take out all the zombies at nighttime. And then we got us uh, a, uh, a Geisley sling. I also threw a Geisley flat face trigger in there, but we noticed that it did not cycle anymore when we did that, so I would, I would like do that and then it would lock. It, it just wasn't working. Would not work with the Geisley trigger, so I had to put the regular trigger back in there. So that's one thing we did not pimp out. We got Ergo Grip as well. And uh, I think this thing's ready to rumble. But here's the deal. This is dumb. Uh, we're gonna get to this video. We're shooting a bunch of peanut butter today, which is gonna be excellent. I'm not gonna shoot this because I have a reputation to uphold on the internet and this will only bring me down. It's below me, and I don't want to do that. So we're actually just going to probably put this stuff on nicer rifles and not shoot this stupid thing with it. No. No!
Let's just shoot it. We're out. Oh, I dropped my, I dropped my big mag. This is a drum. It holds 19 rounds. Ugh. See if it works in this thing. Well, let's use our optic over here. For the close range. Ha! This is kind of cool. Oh, you know what? Our, our other optics got shot off, so we got to use this now. Oh, that was me. It is kind of, it's, it's kind of cool. Like you have to admit, it's pretty dumb, but it is kind of cool now. And you could technically take this to battle and, and do, some, do some work with it. It's not the worst option. Let's shoot long range. We got 100 yard target of my 4X. Yeah, buddy. We have a, um, a very nice short range, medium range, and long range fighting rifle. What the heck was this video about? Oh yeah, peanut butter, come here. Here's the deal, guys. We wanna know, is peanut butter bulletproof? This video had nothing to do with that rifle even though it took up the majority of this video. We're gonna see how much peanut butter it takes to stop one of the most powerful calibers chal you've ever seen, the 25 Auto. Beauty, this is the Spanish uh, Unecta y Campania. And it was actually made in Spain. 25 Auto, 25 ACP, and uh, Hickok 45 has shot this gun, and it was pretty hilarious. I got him, I took it out to Tennessee and let him shoot it. Let's see if I can hit that peanut butter. That was a little, a little off. Uh, let me, let me try again, a little closer. Not that um, this gun is not easy to aim, it's totally easy to aim. Okay, that was a solid hit, I like that one. I forgot to show you guys who are curious what a 25 ACP looks like. That's it, barely bigger than a 22. Here's the first one right there, came out. Oh wow, okay, still going. Went through the second, stopped in the third. Yeah, so went in, actually I don't even know if it went in the third. Oh no, it went in right there. That's where it went in, uh, but it did not come out. Takes three 40 ounce things of peanut butter to stop 25 ACP, good knowledge to know. Let's move it up to a nine millimeter. This is a HK. MP5, just kidding, uh, it's a little clone. We are in nine millimeter. We're gonna go in the same line there and see what it does. As you can see, a lot more power in there. That was the third one that the lid exploded off of. Oh my gosh, so that's the fourth one. So one, two, three, took the lid off this one, which was screwed on, went in, hit the fourth one there, blew it up, I don't think it went any further. Oh, no, it did. It went through the side of the fifth one. It went into the side of the sixth one. And looks like it didn't touch anything else after that. Yeah, I don't, I think it might actually be in the sixth one still. Where did they go? I just picked up the wrong one. Yes. I think it might be in there. I can tell by the way that it is. How about 45 ACP? I just realized uh, during that whole thing that the woods makes me do, I was dragging around my Nighthawk in the dirt. Thank you, weird spirits who do things to people out here. 45 ACP. The Nighthawk compensated. We got a red dot on the top and everything. I hear the bullet. It's spinning. Oh, it stopped. There it is. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but it, wow, it's, it's greasy. Huh. So, one, two, three, four, five, wow, six, seven, and I think it bounced, yeah, it bounced off the eight, did not go in, and was spinning right there on the ground. Let's go bigger. Let's bring a little sophistication to this test. A little five, five, six action. You know what, I'm gonna go with, uh, the side irons over here. Let's see if they are sighted in at this long range. Man, they're hard to see through. All right, we're doing it. 
Wow! Gross! Wow! What the heck, did we only hit two? That's wild. Oh no, it, it did go into that. So it came through this one and really didn't do as much damage. Entrance, exit's bigger, but then coming in this one, it was flipping sideways and really made a big mess, busted it open, threw all that up in the air, and then looks like it went into here and stopped. That bullet's in there somewhere. 5.56 five, went like a third the distance that the 45 did, but as you can see, blew a lot more energy. That makes me wonder, like, what if you got like a really big, really fast moving round? What it would do? Barrett M107 A1, and I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's gold, and we're gonna shoot a flashy round. Not an incendiary, because those are not allowed on YouTube, but it's just a flash round, so it's just, just to look cool. That's all it is. All right, will it penetrate the peanut butter though? That's the question. Survey says, yes. So, uh, what happened was, you can tell by the way that it, it is that um, here's the deal. I don't know which was which. I didn't expect uh, them to explode this much, but like here's here's some pieces of one. There's just burned stuff everywhere, and that pretty much sums up our very scientific test that peanut butter will not, in fact, stop a 50 cal. As soon as we cut, this fell down like right where I was standing. It's all in the trees. Also, look at this tree right here. How, how is it on the camera? Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah it is a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. This is the worst. I hate these videos. We Gucci'd out this gun that I wanted to destroy. I really thought you guys would enjoy a video of us destroying this gun, too. Here's what I'm going to do. We did Gucci it, but I still would like to destroy it. But I won't go against you guys. I'm going to ask one more time on my Instagram. It'll be live today on my story. It'll be a poll to see if we should or we should not destroy this. Dr. Demolition Matt, go check it out. Let me know. If we can get votes to destroy this thing, I will do it. But if you guys vote to keep it nice like this, we'll keep it nice. I'm a man of my word. Aren't I, pigeon? All right, I hate this gun, though. Kind of hate you guys for making me do this. Really wanted to destroy it. But you know what? Your Demolition your family. We stick together. Thanks so much for watching Demolish Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.